Hi, I'm Steve Sutton, founder of Transparency. We're a low impact indoor shrimp farm in Downey, California, just south of Los Angeles. We produce clean, sustainable, and delicious shrimp and sell them to some of the best restaurants in LA. So the little kid version of me just was drawn to the ocean, and anything in the water. And I felt the responsibility to give back to the world. And the reason specifically I got into aquaculture is because it's kind of a huge hair on fire problem that a lot of us don't know that we have, especially in this country. So the United States imports uh, 900,000 tons of shrimp per year, making it the largest importer in the world. Uh, a lot of that product is coming from farms in Southeast Asia uh, and Latin America. About 90% of it is farmed. Uh, those farms have been built over the last 40, 50 years on former mangrove lands for the most part. Um, and the mangroves are a very important ecological system, kind of like the tropical rainforest, um, but they sequester more carbon from the atmosphere than the tropical rainforest and they hold it for longer. So a super important resource that nobody really knows about or talks about. Due to the gold rush nature of shrimp farming when it first started and the amount of money being made, we've lost over 40% of the world's mangroves in about 50 years. When you look at wild fishing for shrimp, like Bubba Gump and Forest, uh, that's a really nice story. But the reality is that wild shrimp fishing worldwide kills an average of six pounds of sea life to get one pound of shrimp. So all told, with my experience traveling around Southeast Asia and Latin America, farming for a year in Thailand, and learning about the actual industry as it is today, I felt like I couldn't really be a part of any of those because they're not true solutions for us going forward. We need to do something new. I was flying back on an airplane from a trip to the Bahamas to teach people how to grow grouper. When I was thinking about this shrimp video I had seen earlier, which involved basically shrimp fishing and entertainment. And I was for years been searching what's the right species, the right time and the right place. And so I looked no further than shrimp, which is the most commonly consumed seafood in the United States. It's increasing every year how much we eat, and we eat it in a variety of different ways. But we could find a way to let people know the story and the truth about what they're eating and what they maybe should be eating or would prefer to eat, then we could make money at this and figure out how to scale it over time. So weeks after having my aha moment, I decided to finish up my master's degree and get out into the world of aquaculture. So I spent a year in Thailand and then decided that now's the time to come back and really attack this in a modern way. My business is both a good and a service. We've developed an indoor sustainable farming technology that can be put almost anywhere and produces shrimp that's as good for your health as it is for the planet. And what's special about what we do is that we grow it in a clear water environment. Basically, we take potable water from our local municipality, we filter it, sterilize it, and add salts that the shrimp need. Then we grow bacteria and we filter that water 16 to 20 times a day to ensure that we're reusing as much of our resources as possible. But overall, we take a scientific process to keep the water clear and basically demonstrate that we have the ability to tweak certain instruments, measure almost everything, and ensure that we're managing this sort of mini indoor ocean to what the shrimp need to survive, uh, to stay kind of happy, healthy, and taste great. A lot of our competitors are using what's called bioflock technology, or even less technically, brown water outdoor farming. Uh, we're seeing that we can produce at a higher density safely. So we grow a shrimp that is a different color. It's more of a dark blue color rather than your brown or gray that you see in the grocery store. Um, so it's visually differentiated. It's uh, clean tasting with a little bit of a sweet finish. What's unique about us is that we're already doing it. This isn't a team of C-level executives uh, thinking about how to do it or making promises. This is a running facility producing about a thousand pounds a week, delivering and selling to the same customers week in and week out for well over a year now. Uh, we started in late 2020, we started the actual construction. Our first prawns were grown in late 2020 and harvested in early 2021. Almost two years now, we've been selling product throughout some of the best restaurants in LA. So it's been a 15 year journey, uh, arguably longer, to find a way to make an impact. And so to me, transparency after all these years is finally at a point where it's ready to really scale. And I'm taking it very seriously as my opportunity to sort of leave a legacy. We're early in the journey still, but it really has the potential to be the future of seafood production.